Hey guys, uh, it's Mike here from AffiliateMarketerTraining.com, and uh, I just sort of got random inspiration to make this video. Um, I know it's not uh, the most professional looking video, but uh, this is my environment. Some of you guys already know that um, since I can make my living from anywhere, I kind of putz around in this travel trailer I'm in uh, right now, and uh, you can see it's pretty cluttered, and uh, my dog's back here somewhere. Say hi, Coops. <laughs> Say hi, Coops. Uh, so, anyway, um, I just sort of wanted to, I was getting ready to start a new business venture, so one of the things that I've never done is developed an e-commerce store, and it's something I've always wanted to do, I've just never been able to find the right product combination, and um, I guess uh, every time I try to pursue it, there's something that I find that's, you know, that's wrong with it, something that stops me from doing it. And it made me realize that a lot of you who watch my videos and visit my website, I know that you guys probably get this feeling too. You find you know a new course online, or you watch a new video, or read a new e ebook, or something that gets you so excited, and you just get this rush like this is it. I'm gonna be able to take my life to the next level with this, and then it's like. Over the next couple days, two or three days, you start figuring out, you know, the problems with it. For me, some of the things have been, um, for example, I'm trying to succeed with, a lot of you have probably heard of Fulfillment by Amazon, where you can buy things, you know, real cheap from China, import it in bulk, create your own Amazon store, and start selling uh, stuff on Amazon for profit. You just mark up because you're selling them individually. So uh, I have a website, dogfoodinsider.com, and I figure, well, why don't I start selling pet products or products related to uh, dogs or dog food? My, my site reviews dog food. Um, so I'm like, well, you know, what's a cheap product that I could get started with? And I did my research, and I, I went through some training programs and read some books and decided um, on a certain type of a dog bowl that I was going to start selling. It was real cheap to purchase. The profit margins were good. There wasn't a whole lot of competition. But then I started realizing where these things that are real cheap are produced, and I did some research into the factories that are making these things. And uh, needless to say, uh, that was sort of the point when I when just the balloon was deflated. And I know that you guys probably know that feeling too, where you just like when you realize that that thing you were so excited about, maybe just a few days or even hours earlier, now you're finding things that are just deal breakers. For me, a deal breaker is I don't want to use places that treat their employees like shit just so that I can make extra money over here. Um, it's just not something that I that I can get past. Uh, I and I understand the argument; it's still providing jobs over there, and you know, even if it's poor working conditions, at least they're not out on the street. I'm not saying that anybody is bad for purchasing things from China from some of those factories. It's just not something that I can get past. So that was the big deflating moment for me. But, you know, it, it actually led me to something else. And this is the point that I want to get to uh, with you guys, is when you hit those obstacles, when you, when you find something that, you know, either you can't do because of finances or because of time restrictions or, um, you know, government regulations or the competition... A billion things. There's a million different reasons why you know you would run into an obstacle when trying to start a business, whether it's online or off. But when you hit that obstacle, don't let that deter you from continuing your journey. That's just telling you. It's like your, you know, your. I don't know what you want to call it. It's it's just like the universe, if you will, telling you. You're you're going the right way, but this isn't the right road. There's a different road to take. And if you keep looking and you keep searching and you keep trying to find that perfect way to make money for you, whether it's affiliate marketing or um, providing a service, whatever, if you ever run into an obstacle, that's not the end of your journey. It's just it's a sign telling you to go a different direction and you know, go that way. You don't want to go this way because if you go this way and if you ignore this obstacle and you keep doing it, then it's just going to develop problems over time, and it's not really what you want to do. So find what it is you know that you want to do, and as difficult as it may, may seem, if you hit that obstacle, it might take a few days, weeks, months, who knows how long, for you to just figure out 
how to do exactly what it is you know that you want to do, not what you think you have to do to make money. Um, and this whole thing, you know, with sourcing from China, I was able to figure out how to do basically the same thing sourcing from right here in the United States and actually very local in the same state that I'm in. I can drive to the place where, I'd be, where I'm going to be getting my product from and private labeling and uh, hopefully selling on Amazon as well as on my own e-commerce site. Um, who knows? Maybe along the way I'll, I'll lose money or, you know, I'll find out that the supplier sucks or something else is going to happen, it's all right. It's just a sign. It's just a road sign telling me to go a different direction. So uh, for those of you, especially those of you who have never made money online before, or maybe some of you that have and, and lost it because of a Google algorithm change or, or something else, just anytime you run into an obstacle like this, it's deflating. It sucks. I know the feeling. I know the great feeling when you think you found something. And I know the shitty feeling when you just feel like a balloon is deflating inside you. Just keep going. Keep searching because the answers are out there. There is a perfect way for you to make money where you are going to be happy. You're going to make a ton of money. You're going to be successful. And you're going to do great. It might not be the way exactly that I'm teaching or, or that somebody else is teaching. You have to find your own path. And the only way to do that is to, instead of bouncing back from those roadblocks, you just find a new path, you make a new way, and you figure out how to do it for you. So keep going, guys. I know a lot of you have been struggling for a long time to try to make money online, but uh, there is a way for you, and just keep soul-searching, keep researching online, and you're going to find it. So I hope this provides a, a little bit of uh, help for you guys that, you know, I've been there, I've done that as well. Fortunately, I, I am making money online, so I, I'm thankful for that every day. But I still have the same feelings that you guys have. So um, I guess that's it. Again, this is just sort of, you know, I'm just kind of wearing whatever. And <laughs> I know this is not the most professional look and these blinds look like crap. But um, I just kind of felt like making this video real quick and uploading it. So if you, uh, you know, can relate to this, uh, feel free to post in the comment section and, and let me know what you think. Um, you know, we all know that great feeling of, of feeling motivated and, and then being deflated. So uh, let me know how you guys kind of get past it and how you keep going. And, um, you know, if you'd like to share, great. If not, no big deal. And until next time, I will uh, see you all later.